If you plan on storing your bike over winter, it's important you get it ready to tuck it away so that when you get it out in the spring, it's in tip top shape, ready to ride. In this video, I'm gonna give you five steps to get your bike ready to put away for the winter months. Step one is giving the bike a thorough clean. Before we get the jet wash on it, I find the best area to start is giving the chain and the sprockets and the rear wheel a good clean, getting any of the chain grease off. To do this, I use a WD-40 or a GT-85 as I find attacking it with the jet wash can't get all of the grease off the chain or the rear wheel. Now we're gonna wet the bike off with the jet wash, get any loose dirt, flies or dust off before we put on our cleaning product. When you're using the jet wash, just be mindful when you get to areas like the brakes, the dash, the chain, making sure that we don't get too close because with a powerful jet wash, we could damage things like bearings or O-rings. Once we've jet washed the bike off and we've got our cleaning product on there, we're gonna get a clean sponge and begin with the bodywork and the tank, agitating any dirty areas, making sure we get all the flies off and don't miss any of them hard to reach places so the bike is nice and clean as we put it away for the winter. Next, we can get back on the jet wash, get all the cleaning products and the soap off before we move on to the next step and get the bike dried off. Now we've got the bike jet washed off, we're gonna use a nice soft cloth or you can also use a chamois leather to dry it off. Finally, to get into them hard to reach places, I'm gonna use the airline as that also works great. Now we've got the bike nice and dry, we're gonna get it back on the paddock stand and get all the excess water off the chain and give it a coat of lube to stop it rusting as we put it away. After that, we're gonna give all the exposed metal parts on the bike a coat of silicon spray. That will prevent them corroding over the winter months. Just when you do that, make sure you stay away from the brake discs. With all the exposed metal parts now siliconed up, we're gonna give the bodywork a coat of polish and also do the same with the switch gears and all the black plastic parts. This is gonna help give it a layer of protection through the winter months. Step number three is making sure that your battery's in good condition when you get your bike out in the spring. We're gonna use a trickle charger you can pick one of these up for less than 40 quid, which is cheaper than most batteries if you was to let yours go flat over the winter. Step four is getting the bike elevated off the ground so that the wheels are in the air. We're gonna do this using a rear paddock stand and a front paddock stand. The reason for this is, if the bike's left for a long period of time without moving, the tyres can potentially flat spot and that could damage the carcass. If you haven't got access to a paddock stand, you can put the bike on its side or centre stand, put something soft under the tyres and slightly over inflate them. This will help it maintain its shape over the winter. The fifth and final step we're gonna brim the petrol tank and put the bike cover over it. The reason we're gonna brim the tank is to prevent any rust getting inside the petrol tank over the winter months. If you've got a carved bike, I would suggest you put some additive in the fuel to prevent it gelling up the carbs and blocking them. Or the other alternative to this is just starting it up every couple of weeks, making sure that fresh fuel is kept in the carbs. That's my top five tips on how to keep your bike stored over the winter months so that it's ready for the spring.